You're a teacher and you're ready to sell your lesson plans online, but you don't know where to start. First off, congratulations. And secondly, today, don't worry. We're gonna go over a roadmap of how to sell your lesson plans in the online space today. We're going to take average teachers and turn them into entrepreneurs step-by-step step to go from lesson plan idea to products sold. Hey, welcome back to Sell Your Lessons. I'm Jesse, your digital marketing coach, and today we're gonna to talk about how to sell lesson plans online. Now, each one of these steps is really broken down into more sub steps. And so if you get lost or confused at any point today, don't worry, you can download the checklist below. Step number one is going to be to develop a plan. First, you have to decide, what am I gonna sell? And not just that, what kind of lesson plan are you going to do? Is it going to be a general lesson plan? Is it going to be a bell work, a bell ringer? Is it going to be something like an assessment or a project to go along with a certain subject? What is it that you want to sell? After you've decided that, unfortunately, you can't stop there. If you really want to stand out in that sea of everybody else selling things all over the internet, you need to create an offer, something completely irresistible that's going to have people pulling out their wallets and begging you to take their money because you are making their life so much easier with what you're offering. So make sure you create an irresistible offer with your product. Then you're going to want to map out your sales funnel. Now, before you run for the hills, I know, sales funnel is a scary marketing term, but it doesn't need to be scary. All a sales funnel is, is a journey you take the customer on as they go through the buying process. Instead of just giving them a list and saying, here's everything I sell, good luck, a sales funnel takes them by the hand to go through what exactly they're going to buy and in what order they're going to buy it. So you wanna go ahead and develop that plan up front. Once you have your plan created, now we get to move on to step two, which is to develop your assets. Go ahead and actually build and gather the materials for whatever type of lesson you've decided to sell. Got it? Great. Next, you're going to design. So go ahead and go somewhere. I recommend canva.com. It's a free design tool that allows you to create attractive and professional looking plans and presentations and worksheets or whatever it is that you are going to be selling so that you really stand out in that crowd and have people really coming back to you for more in the future because you put out such a high quality product. Canva.com is free and I really recommend it for people who aren't necessarily graphic design inclined or Photoshop savvy. After that, you're going to want to store your plans digitally online. I recommend Google Drive or Dropbox. Both have free plans for you to get started and it can grow with you as you grow. Both platforms also allow you to give share links so that when someone purchases your product, you can share that link with them and they can download the materials for themselves. Step number three is to build your sales funnel. So remember back in step one, we decided to create a path for people to go down so that it's not just your sea of materials and they don't know where to go, what to look at, and what order they need things, and then they get overwhelmed and they leave. Instead, you wanna create a sales funnel that will give them specific lessons in a specific order to help them along in their buying journey so that there is less overwhelm and they are very comfortable in the process and in the end, really willing to buy more from you. So the first step to building that sales funnel is to go ahead and write all of your copy, which is just a fancy word for all the words on your page. And then you're going to design all the graphics you need, the pictures. Again, I recommend going back to Canva. It's a really great platform to get some graphics for free. Next, you're gonna go ahead and shoot any videos you need. If you wanted to do some sales videos or anything like that, now's the time to go ahead and shoot those videos. After you've written your copy, designed your graphics, and got your videos, now you wanna actually build your pages. So go ahead and lay out the web pages you need and get those designed as well. After that, you're going to want to set up your integrations, your product delivery, your products themselves, and any of the other tech that goes along with building a sales funnel. Test that puppy and it's good to go. 
Step number four is going to be promotion. You have your idea, you've made it a reality, and you've built out a selling platform. So now all you have to do is promote. There are many ways to promote your product. So I'm just going to name a few here today. The first is really going to be your blogging, YouTube, podcasting platforms, which are called search engine optimization or SEO platforms ways that you can reach people by what they're searching online. Social media is another platform. A lot of people are on places like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You have to know where your ideal customer is at so that you can promote on those platforms and connect with them there. Another way to promote your product is your email list. As people begin to buy, from you, you want to save their email addresses in a list so that you can reach out to them every time you have something new available. Chances are if they bought from you in the past and they really loved the quality of your work and what you put out, they're more than happy to buy from you again. So let them know you have something new and that is a great way to find people who already know you, already like you, and are already prepared to open their wallet for you. One more way you can promote your products for sale is paid promotion. So whether that's Facebook ads, Google ads, Pinterest ads, doesn't matter. Paid advertising is always an option. For a lot of people, that's where you go once you get the ball rolling and you have a little bit of income built up to put back into your business, but it really doesn't matter. If you want to start out with paid promotion, you certainly can. Now, like I said, there are many more ways to promote your product for sale, but those are just a few to get you started. If you're really interested in selling your lesson plans, don't forget to check out the link in the description below to grab your checklist of everything we went over today. And next week, we're going to go over how to create an irresistible offer. So you know you have some ideas for your lesson plans, but you are ready to create that offer that's going to help you stand out in the crowd of everybody else selling in the online space today. So tune in next week where we go more in depth on how to really craft that perfect offer that's going to have people waiting to pull out their wallet for you. Until then, check out some of the other videos here on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. I can't wait to see you every Tuesday when we put out new material. Until then, bye.